Hey guys, it's the Marsh Guy. Welcome back to my channel. And today we are at Israel. Anyway, we are at the Roman city of Tiberias. And now we're gonna eat lunch at the Galilee restaurant. At the back of me is the Sea of Galilee. So we are going to be staying a week in Israel. So there's gonna be a lot of adventure, a lot of fun. And guys, Israel is really a contrast of Jordan. As you can see in the background, it's so, so green compared to Jordan, which is so dry. So a little story guys, my brother and I were both held in the immigration and what's funny is that the immigration officers kept on insisting that my brother was an Arabic and they even talked to him in an Arabic to make sure if he talks Arabic but yeah, much to their dismay, he isn't an Arabic and I was held because I don't know, my face was different in the passport We're gonna eat now, bye bye <laughs> just finished eating lunch guys and we had pita and a lot of different toppings from Israel <laughs> and they served us the main course which they call the St. Peter's fish but in the Philippines it's called the tilapia so you cannot imagine our surprise knowing that there was a lot of that in the Philippines so right now we are at Tabga where Jesus fed 5,000 people with five loaves and two fishes to crush the olives before and this is where they used to press the olives to extract the olive oil. The olive oil were used in big ovens because its fumes created a very nice scent. So it is very evident that humans before were already skilled even without technology. Love. church where God did the multiplication of loaves for correction 5,000 men not people inside the church is an altar and below the altar is a stone with four loaves and two fishes and it's actually four because the fifth loaf is the altar itself so I'm not allowed to vlog inside so I'm just gonna take videos <laughs> Peter's Primacy is the place where Jesus told Peter that he was the rock and he was going to build the church on this rock. So there are actually two Peter's Primacy here in Israel. Now we are at the Primacy of Love where the second covenant happened and Peter and Jesus Christ ate together at the Mina Sacristi inside the church. It's a big stone and yeah, this is where they ate. <laughs> actually had the last supper but aside from that Peter and Jesus Christ actually ate in the rock which is called Minsa Christi which means the table of God we are walking towards the shore of the Sea of Galilee where a lot of things happened Guys, can you actually believe that I am standing at the exact spot where Jesus actually stepped on? The Bible has come to life and you are witnessing this. 
on my YouTube channel to see behind me is where St. Peter actually fished and many of the stories of the Bible happened. This is really a heartwarming moment for all those who have read the Bible. Right now we are at the town of Capernaum and it's considered to be the town of Jesus because Jesus was really close to this town. At the back of me is the house of St. Peter which is also considered to be the house of Jesus. This is the original house of St. Peter over here. Jesus chose Capernaum because for the first reason, he healed a servant of a centurion, which means he had protection and no one could touch him for three years before he moved to other cities. So he was able to preach, say what he wanted, and do anything that he wanted in this town. The second reason is that Capernaum is a really strategic trade route between Egypt and Mesopotamia. So it's like Dubai and people pass here all the time so he can spread the news. It's considered to be a focal city. So at the back of me is a statue of St. Peter holding a cane because he was considered to be the first pope. And he's also holding the keys which represents the keys to the kingdom of heaven. And of course, the fish. Capernaum was really blessed with a lot of blessings from Jesus Christ. But despite these blessings, they were one of the three cities who first collapsed because they three cities who first turned their backs against Jesus. So this is a synagogue in Capernaum. This is one of the many ruins of the ancient city of Capernaum. These are representations of Greco-Roman architecture styles which only proves that it was really the center of trading. Wow, we are really on a rush. <laughs> synagogue where Jesus taught a lot of people the good news and the words of God and right now we are at the Mount Beatitudes where the eight Beatitudes were stated and served as a foundation for the New Testament before I came here I actually thought that Jesus was standing at the top of the mountain when he did the sermon but I just found out that he was at the bottom of the mountain and the people were all the way up there in the mountain listening to him so the setting was like an amphitheater <music> two translations of the Beatitudes here and the one is in English and the other one is in Filipino. Disclaimer guys, the Sea of Galilee is not a sea, it's a lake because I personally tasted the water and it's fresh water. So it is just a really huge lake with a lot of tilapia and also it really looks like my hometown. We are going to ride the ancient Galilee boat. And we are going to traverse around the Sea of Galilee. So we are at 200 meters below sea level. So Boracay is up there. So that's the proof over there, negative 220. So the water actually receded 35 meters because the water used to be there. That's the only source of fresh water here. And now, it's over here. See the port? Thing of is prohibited. The temperature is starting to drop here in Israel. And the sun is also setting right over there. And we are walking towards the boat to traverse the Sea of Galilee. <laughs> I 
Jordans, bring a jacket. We need to stick together to stay warm. Wait, I want to pick one hard picture also. We have to stick together to stay warm. Stick together. Add, add, stick, add, together. Add, add, stick together. Add, add, add. Stick together. Stick together. Stick together as they were. Stick together as they were. Stick together as Galilee.